What's going on, man? It's your boy K Sign J, Mr. A T, but I ain't an SGA though. We're up here with my boy Futures TV. Big interview on the way. K Ting. All right, bro. We live with it, man. You all know right. what I'm saying? For the people that's watching this, man. First of all, let them know who we got on Futures TV. Man, it's your boy K Sign J, the hottest in Carolina right now. What's going on? Okay, that's what it is, man. What's up with it, man? Where we at, man, for the people that's going to watch this? Man, we at A&T. That's where I go to school at. Okay, a and The yellow, you know what I'm saying? The yellow. You see what I got on me? You see, you see, the, drip, you see the college attire? You know yeah, what I'm saying? It costs a lot of money to drip like this. Hell yeah. <laughs> the A&T, bro. What made you choose A&T over at all the other colleges in the NC? I'm going to tell you, look. So fresh out of high school, you know, A&T was my first school I wanted to go to. But I couldn't get in because my SAT score was too low. Yeah. So I went to Shaw first for like a week. But um, I, I had to drop out of there. Like, I went in for a week, dropped out of there, and went to community college. But a t always been on my list. Yeah. I feel like a t was a spot I need to be at ever since I got out of high school. Like, to work everything. I could go to school and work my hustle at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So you said you, you stopped going to Shaw after a week. What was it about, though? I just wasn't ready to get that, take that student loan out. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. They wanted, I needed some more money to stay in that dorm. So really, Pell Grant to cover my schooling, but it's to live on that campus, going to cost another 5000 You need a student loan to cover that camp, that um, that um campus um price. Oh, okay. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's why. So where are you originally from? I'm from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Jacksonville, 252, man. No, that's 910. No that's 910, Jacksonville? That's 910. You know what I'm saying? Jackson. 252, like New Bern. You know what I'm saying? Some people got the 252 area code, but it's mainly 910. Okay. Yeah. So what was it like, you know what I'm saying, growing up out there in Jacksonville, okay. North okay. Carolina? Okay. Jacksonville is like a, it's like a real slow town. Like, that's really like a, a retirement town because like it got the base, Camp Lejeune. Yeah. So like it's, it's a military town. So ain't really nothing there but restaurants, places to eat. That's all they really build down there. They don't build nothing for the kids to do, nothing like that. Just a bunch of restaurants and it's real slow. And uh, But it was good for me. I took advantage of that because... It wasn't nothing, nothing to do, so I just focus on my music. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got so good, because it wasn't nothing to do. I didn't want to go go in the streets or nothing like that, because I already seen that, you know what I'm saying, through my family members going to jail, this and that. So I just focus on my music. I just get worked on my craft and got better and better and better, because that's all I had to do. School, music. School, music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you said it's not a lot of opportunities out there, man. Like, how many people would you say stay out there and, you know what I'm saying, what did niggas used to do if they wanted to go party or if they wanted to go link up, like what, yeah. what y'all used to do? So like, it's, like, I can, it's like you count on one hand what to do. Go to the <laughs> basketball court, you know what I'm saying, they play basketball at school or still play basketball, meet at the park, still today, the grown people, they, we grown now, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or you got like a, a bar, Spankies, Limelight, Hooligans, uh, what's the other part? Uh, the Cardinal and Goodfellas and all that stuff. Bad to get cut out. They're cutting that stuff out because they don't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Shooting and killing and murders bodies. So they closing all them things down. Might be like two places left. So them places get overcrowded. So you really can't. Me, I can't be out there. You know, I got people people on me too. You know what I'm saying? They gonna know me. Everybody go to the same spots. So ain't that many places to go. So you got you got smoke out there, bro? Like some haters? Or? I got haters. You know, you doing positive okay. stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They don't understand. A lot of people don't understand business and this and that. Yeah. And they they take stuff the wrong way. Oh yeah. And the young folks, the young minded, cause a lot of young people. You know what I'm saying? They look up to me, but I'm like in my mid twenties, so I got the young and I got the old. Like I could go, I could go this way, I could go that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I interviewed a rapper before from Jacksonville, North Carolina. He was talking about how dangerous it is out there. It's real, like, it's, it get crazy out there, though? It is now. You know, from that, I'm a, I could break it down. Why? Because yeah. when I was coming up, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing going on, so I seen I seen it transform. Yeah. So it's not the older dudes doing it. Doing the, it get dangerous from, from the older guys. It's the young dudes. You know what I'm saying? The young cats, four, 12, to, 12 to 21. You know what I'm saying? 12 to 21, them young boys, they looking up the young boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking up the set it all, big three. You know what I'm saying? They want <laughs> yeah. they they ready Shout to them. go on the drill, ready to go on the slide. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's the young crowd. That's what they own. You know what I'm saying? So, so like an older dude, it's a true story. Older dude come and get out of prison, 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He got that. He could, he goes to the club. He get an altercation with them young boys. He think it's all sweet. Now them young boys ready to slide. The your young boy gonna slide on you. That you music, know what I'm saying? That music definitely. Is, yeah, so is a big you can't. You can't. A forty year old can't talk to a young boy no more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He think he think it's sweet. Nah, that young boy ain't playing. That young boy ready to slide about anything. <laughs> got some dumb stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's definitely. So what made you wanna? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do the music shit though, bro. Who who, who inspired you? Now, I've been a spy since a kid, cause my dad always had me listen to the music like 50 Cent, Jeezy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's really what I went back to because now the music now, I don't listen to new, new music. I don't listen to nobody. I listen to you. Let my catalog right now is 50 Cent, Jeezy, Old Future. And that's like the top three right now in my catalog. Like, you know how you got the Apple Music list? Mm -hmm. The most played? If I show you my most played right now, you be like, what? You ain't listening. I ain't listening to nobody. You can't, you can't name a new song right now, a new artist song you like. I won't know it. Because I don't like it. It, it, don't, it don't move me. The words don't move me. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't brought up on that type of lingo. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. ain't, they ain't talk to my soul. Like 50 Cent Jesus, they talk to my soul. They, they'll pump me up right now. They got have me, substance in that Yeah, they got substance. So that's what my music contains substance. When you hear my songs, you're going to hear something in it. You're going to learn something from it. You're going to leave out with something, a quote or something that yeah. I came up with from me. That came from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, the people I, that inspired me, 50 Cent, Future, Jeezy, them the top three. Gucci, man. Not really yeah, Gucci. Gucci man ain't Gucci man. I like the Gucci. I like them beats. Zaytoven cut them beats up so good for him. Yeah. He he gas. Like, some of Gucci man early stuff. I like I like Gucci early stuff. All they early music. Everybody early music. I love their early music because you can feel the pain and the hunger in their songs. But don't you? I remember like I remember I posted. I think the it was the off the top freestyle. And they were saying, yo, this song hard, but it would have been harder in 2012. Yeah. Do you feel like you got to move with the new music? Or, I mean, nah. you got to... That's my lane. You know what I'm saying? I made my own lane. And see how they say it would have been harder in 2012? Yeah. Just, they didn't hear nobody say it's trash. You know what I'm saying? They didn't hear nobody say it was bad or they didn't put nothing bad. They actually like that song. They actually like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just saying they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to A&T, right? You know what I'm saying? That's an A&T song. You know what I'm saying? And I got to... Going to AT is a broader fan base. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I got alumni. Them alumni is like that. Voila. Madge. That's future beat. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? You just don't know I made that beat myself. Just don't know I record that song myself. Just don't know I mixed that song myself. You know what I'm saying? I did all that myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And look how good it sounds. It sounds better than half the other rappers you like. <laughs> Believe <laughs> that. Now, that's crazy you just mentioned that, man. You said you do everything yourself. Yeah. Um, I remember back in the day when you was making your list, that shit, yeah. man, like the flyers. Yeah, I got one on me right now. Yeah, them joints are real official, like something from a, a bigger platform or something. I got one on me now. <laughs> okay. I made this myself, man. Show, show, <laughs> show it to the I camera, made this man. myself, man. Yeah, bro. I do this. Yeah, this is crazy. This I got my so own temp. You want, you want to buy the template? <laughs> <laughs> this is some professional ass shit right here. Yeah, I made that. Um, yeah, so you do that. You you produce and um, yeah. you're a rapper. Like, what made you get into the producer shit? Your producer bag. What really made me do that? I had a, I mean, y'all won't believe me. I had a dream one night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just had a dream came to me, like, hit me in the middle of the night. I was, I was sleeping. I was like, what, 12 years old? Dad was locked up. I'm down in Maysville, sleeping on the floor. Your dad was locked up? What was he locked up for? I ain't going to speak all that. I speak okay. all that. He told me I was still going detail and all that, so I ain't going to all that. But I was sleeping on the floor. I was down in Maysville, chihuahuas and ropes. And the chihuahua come take the cover off me, and he a grrrr. But I tried to get the cover back, all types of stuff, man. So, but I, like I said, I was asleep, had a dream one night. I don't know what it was. Dude had a lab. My boyfriend had a laptop. And I said, ooh, I'm going to make beats. I think the idea came because... He was DJing, mm -hmm. and I was like, so that kind of brought me like, I want to do everything. I seen him with the DJ turntables. He ain't never showed me or teach me how to do it, but it gave me that idea. You know, it sparked something in my, in my mind just by me seeing that. You know what I'm saying? So I started Googling beat machines, how to make a beat, and this and that, just Googling it as a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just Googling software. I was just downloading everything that night. I couldn't find nothing good, nothing worth nothing, but then I just kept on browsing the internet and I ran into Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy was making them beats on the FL studio. So, ooh, Soulja Boy did it. This is this the program. Download that, boom, got the demo, boom. That's when I, that's when I started. And after that, I was locked in. Like, I was locked in. I just cut everything out. I even, I even failed the whole semester because I wasn't doing no homework. I was just locked in on beats. Some teacher said, okay, son, great, just this. Went down. Yeah. He, I just, he just, he's like, everything just shut down. It did shut down because my whole focus was on making them beats. I said, ooh. Did you catch on fast, bro? I tried that FL Studio shit. FL yeah. Studio, bro, that shit was hard as hell to do, bro. Did I didn't it? catch on fast, but I was locked in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was coming home every day doing it, doing it, trying doing it, it trying it. Because yeah. I said, Soulja Boy can do, Soulja Boy made beats on this program, I could do the same thing. But then Lex Luger came. And when Lex Luger came, he was using FL Studio. His jump was hard. And I was yeah. like, he using the same program. I know I can make, if he making beats this way, I can make my beats sound just like he is. And yeah. that was my goal. You know what I'm saying? Facts, man. So who's some of the people you would produce for that, you know, people might know? Uh, Fat Trail, Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy, Ice Wet Vezo, um, Boosie. Uh, that's top Boosie? five. 
Boosie, yeah. yeah okay. That's I got a couple song. tracks with Boosie. Um, they're they, they not out. The song with Boosie not out. Okay. But I got one of this dude got a feature from him. I might drop that myself. He got a feature from Boosie on one of my beats. I might drop that myself because he he playing games with the song. You know yeah. what I mean? I ain't going to play. I'm putting everything out. Yeah, you putting everything out. What? Which one you think is your biggest song that you done, bro, that people might know? Really, my biggest song was my first ever placement that actually got paid for. That oh, okay. song, Paper Love Here For You. That's Paper the biggest Love. song ever. He got... He went viral. I sent him some beats. He's from Atlanta. He went viral just singing the singing the song on my beat on live Instagram live, and he did like I don't know how many views. He did like three hundred thousand on Instagram, but then he was on Facebook going viral, which I didn't know about till later. And they had like two men. He got signed with three hundred. <laughs> and that's the song got over like a fifty million to a hundred million, fifty to a hundred million views all together, calculated with every off all platforms. Okay, that's what's up, bro. Yeah. Now, the music shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? You've been dropping crazy this whole... <laughs> this, look, I ain't gonna say this whole year. The year yeah. just started, my nigga. Like, I swear, right? What was, your, what was your... Um, the motivation behind it, and did you plan all this shit, or you just going, you just going as... You know what I'm saying? Go. So, look, it was, I was on Christmas break, and, like, I got excited, because, I, you know, last semester, like, I really just found myself, you know what I'm saying? And... I found myself over Christmas break because I finally had time to sit down and go back home and just feel that's just just like just be to myself because you know the last semester like I'm like dang am I, am I gonna finish school? I'm doing computer science. It's a hard it's a hard degree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really close to the edge. I'm really about to graduate real soon. But I'm taking these hard classes that is that's mandatory. I gotta get a C. You know what I'm saying? To, to get my degree, I gotta take the mandatory class. But I just passed like the last one, so I was. That was last semester. Like, I really haven't been, really wasn't making music. I really felt like giving up. But after I passed this class, I just, it's just like a boost of energy just came. And, and I was just back home and I was just thinking like, okay, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I could really graduate. And so now I'm, I got so excited. And I, I did come up with a plan. But the plan, I did it in less than th three weeks during Christmas break. I made a whole tape. The songs you hear, I made that during Christmas break. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I had an idea how I'm gonna do them. I had wrote everything down during Christmas break. How am I to do it? How am I to do it? For the whole year. I had a whole year, I got a whole year planned out how I'm about to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do that. I made that Aggie song. I was, I was in the shed, listening to Future. I'm like, he was like, Wild Eye Magic. I said, ooh, flip that, I'm a Aggie. And I felt how the beat, how the beat made me feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just stopped thinking about it. I just stopped thinking. I just started going off my, my instinct, you know what I'm saying? I just went off instinct, like, go to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I went to Atlanta, flew to Atlanta. Just off instinct, you know what I'm saying? So my cousin, let's go. Put, pay this flight, pay for the room, boom, I did it. And we went down there, and I said, we're gonna make something happen. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I, I got people number, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But you know how the industry go, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm used to it, I've been, doing it. I've been in it for so long now. So I'm like, they might not pick up the phone, but I'm gonna blow their phones up off the hook. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mm -hmm. call, bow, bow, bow. Can't say I didn't call you. You know what I'm saying? Can't say I didn't ask. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I blew, I blew everybody's phone up, whoever picked up. Let's, I said, look, what you got going on? Let's make something happen. Hello? What you got going on? Let's make something happen. You, what you, you here in Atlanta? Let's work. You know what I'm saying? Some people didn't come through. Some people, some people played me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't feel no you type of way. You know how it is in the industry, though. Yeah, but I don't feel no type of way. I'm used to it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a side. They can't make me mad. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in control. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know what I'm saying? I finally in control of my own. You, once you start depending on other people and you control your destiny, you can't get let down. Can't nobody let you down. Only yourself can let, only, only I can let myself down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm paying for everything. I'm doing everything myself. You know You're what I'm saying? Manager, I'm my own manager. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what people don't really, nobody can't manage me. You know what I'm saying? That's why people kind of cut me off a lot of times. Because they want to control me, but they can't. I'm out of control. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm in control at the same time. I'm in control of myself, but then them, I'm out of control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do too much. I'm stepping on toes here, this and that. I shoot my video, make a beat. They want me to just be a producer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm over, I'm over here making raps. I'm just, hey, let's vlog, so let me shoot your video. You know what I'm saying? Can't keep you in the box. Like, can't I, keep me in the box. Look, look, it's the same thing as like Kanye, when they used to tell him to just be a producer. Yeah. Kanye like, nah, I, I, I rap too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't keep him in the box. He doing clothes. Yeah. He doing all these other, he, he's in, he got his hands in all these different avenues. So mm -hmm. I definitely feel where you're coming from with that. Um, another thing I want to know, like, then how do you balance being a student at a and and doing this music shit, like how do you ha how do you find time? Okay. To I really, to be honest with you, like I said, I really don't have time. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I made a whole album during Christmas break. I didn't make no album during school, really. I didn't make no beats. 
Like, I'm about to go on spring break right now, so it's going to be some time. I got a lot of stuff I'm about to do real quick during spring break, mm -hmm. and I'm going to have it already ready. So for the rest of that, going to last me for the rest of the school year. In one week, I'm going to go hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's like a job, like, like a nine to five working on myself. Boom, make these t-shirts. Boom, make these backpacks. Boom, make these, um, make these, make these, um, fly, make my album cover. Boom, get all, knock all that out. You know what I'm saying? Make all these vlogs, make all these content. That's going to last me for the rest of the year. You know what I'm saying? So that's really how I find time. And then I really got more time now because I'm, I'm coming to the end of my, I'm about to graduate next year. So the classes get kind of easier. The classes kind of more laid back. The so teachers you, you ain't. So you graduate not this year, but next year. 2025. Okay. You yeah, come to the graduation, man. <laughs> All right. Come on, Future. Is. I need you at the graduation. All right, I'm going to pop out. I'll probably All pop out. Right. You know, I'll, I'll be chilling, man. <laughs> um, and another thing, bro, I see that you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you worked with Set It Off in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You worked with Lil Murder and this shit, bro. Like, yeah. how, did, how did that come about? Okay, I'm going to talk about Lil Murder first. Lil Murder, like, I was working at Walmart 2020. And, you know, I'm going on your page. I was hitting everybody up on your page, like, anybody, like, getting their emails off their, out, DMing them, getting their email off their page, and, um, like, sending them beats, sending them beats, sending them beats. So I was sending Lil Murder beats. Boom, sending them beats, sending them beats. Then one out of the blue, I think he asked for my number some way, or he called my number, cause I used to get my, put my number in the email. Yeah. <laughs> he called me, I was at Walmart. He said, hey man, it's a sample in this beat. It's da, 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 da. He said, he said, man, don't send me no more beats with samples and I'm gonna get sued. I said, man, <laughs> you ain't gonna get sued. Like, he liked what I said. I said, man, you ain't gonna get sued. You ain't putting up enough numbers. <laughs> he said, oh, for real? I said, yeah, you ain't put it. Say, you ain't gonna get sued. Get a million views, then ain't worry about getting sued. Get a, get a million views first. You ain't on you ain't on their radar. He said, oh, okay. He said, okay, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? He like, I was being real. I said, you ain't putting up enough numbers to get sued. Bruh, you know what I'm saying? You know what's so crazy? I was talking to uh, Tigo B here, rapper slash singer. Mm hmm from um, Greensboro, and he was basically, I was asking him, like, yo, did, did people ever come for you for sampling their song? I think it was, like, one of the girls' groups from back in the day. Yeah. And he was like, yo, I'm going to tell you the secret, bro. Like, they usually don't come for you if your song ain't, ain't really viral like that. Mm -hmm. He was like, my shit did good around North Carolina, but it didn't go off that big yeah. where they're going to come back and yeah. sue me. Yeah. So that's crazy you say that, though. Yeah, but you, they didn't get on their radar. Yeah, you, know you, saying? you keep going, though. Yeah, they didn't get on their radar, and then um, that's why I told him then. After that, we kind of like, he had a tape. He dropped a tape. I think it might be the last tape he dropped because he ain't been dropping. I'm like, man, what you going to drop? But I think I had two beats on his tape. And that Treats is for Kids, baby. I made that beat. Treats is for Kids, baby. Oh, you made that joint? I made that beat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we got them two We got two songs together, two Who's beats. Who's the other one? It's, a, it's the last song on the, on the album. I forgot the name of the song. But okay. I rapped on the song. I rapped on the beat, too. I got a song on the beat, too. Before he even rapped on it, he think I made it after. I said, nah, I had that done. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just don't know it. And uh, we just stayed in contact until I just came to A&T. Now he closer. So now we uh, linked up with him, met him last summer when I, when I first transferred here. We linked up at the studio, you know what I'm saying, and actually chopped it up. And then now we kind of stay. We talk about, like, we talk. Some, some weeks we talk every day. So, but we talk about it at least once a week. Oh, okay. You know what That's what's up, bro. But it would set it off 83, you know. Uh, you know, like I said, down there where I'm from, them boys, them boys bumping that set off 83. They slime about set it off 83. They really slide on me. They talking trash be me. Like, oh, set it off don't mess with you. Set it off don't bump with you. That's the reason I pump that, post that video again. Yeah. Cause they must have forgot. Yeah. <laughs> we, about to reach, we about to reshoot that video. Cause that's like, that was like a run and gun video. Talks my, told my camera to to my cousin to take the camera, shoot a video real cool while we in the studio, right? He just laid the verse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that video, he just laid the verse right there. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? He just shot a quick video, but we better reshoot that video next week. And my down in Jacksonville, I got the I got the BMW cor the, uh, convertible yeah. top. We riding through every hood. And you know, we saying, yeah, yeah. You know how we doing, yeah. I'm telling yeah, yeah. <laughs> you. So you said they, they fuck with say who else they fuck with out there, like in Jacksonville, man. I don't know, but to, out of Carolina. Yeah. I'm just gonna, out of Carolina, they just set it off 83. That's all I know they bumping. Yeah, yeah. That's where they going. Them young boys, them 12 to 18 or 12 to 21, yeah. they bumping set it off nonstop. That's they they glad he out. Yeah. They couldn't they wait till he came home. They, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Well, another thing I seen, bro, on uh, one of your videos that you just shot, Donnell Jones is in that joint, man. I mm. fuck with Donnell Jones heavy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? How did that shit? Like, okay, like I said, down in Atlanta, just make a phone call to everybody. Hello? Oh, my boy Flyboy, my boy Flyboy picked up the phone. He said, hey, I said, what's going on down here in Atlanta? He said, I'm about to be with Donnell Jones in the studio. You can pull up. His um, nephew having an um, album release party. I said, bet, I'm pulling up. Boom. 
Can't, got the Uber, shot over there, down there, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Talk to him, da 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 da. He was wondering who I was. You see, I was fresh, I was dripped up. We about look like twins, got the, sh that same kind of jacket on and stuff. And I got my cousin following, following me around with a camera. He was like, who is you? You know what I'm saying? Cause like, everybody like, who is this dude? You know, I got my cousin following around me with a camera cause I like, be vlogging and stuff. He like, shoot, can you vlog, can, can you vlog me? He kind of, he kind of drunk a little bit. His mama, yeah. his mama over there sitting down, she was like, it's like that's his. I guess his mama really got his back. Like she with him everywhere. Cause you know what I'm saying. She kind of like handled the stuff, for, handled the business for him and stuff. You could tell. And she was like, he just talking. He's just talking right now. Cause he's under. He under. So he wasn't. He was. He was turned up a little turned. Yeah. And I was like, all right. Cause he said, let's. He said, vlog him. Walk around and vlog him. Gonna pay us. But you know, that's how I got met him and stuff. We talked. Got his number. And um, told me to send him some beats. This and that. It, it kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of, he inspired me too because I found out he write his songs. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he made his beats. He might have made his beats too. But yeah, he a songwriter, like, and I, I'm on that same type of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like to um, write songs. Like, when I do a song with somebody, I really kind of want to write their verse. Cause that's how, that's how, that's how I, I kind of already hear they rap. I can already hear they tone and stuff on certain beats. I was like, I want you in this song. I hear you already up there. So I kind of want to really write your verse, but I let you do your thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So out of, out of everybody in the Carolinas that's doing their thing, man, you know, who, who else you want to work with that you haven't tapped in with? Really, everybody. I ain't, you know what I mean? I want to work with everybody. Lil Bree, Get Rich Zay, Baby, uh, yeah. uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Stunner Foe, uh, Shot from the Tray, uh, who else we got out everybody. there? Everybody. I want to wear, I ain't, I, you know, I ain't one of them. You know what I'm saying? Some people be funny style. I ain't funny style. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to yeah. make stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the way. I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get on the train now or miss out. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I ain't turning down nothing. You know what I'm saying? I want everything. I'm greedy. That's real shit, though. You got to have that mindset, though. You got to have that mindset. So what's next for what's next for you, bro? What's oh. you, how you plan to attack the rest Okay, of I'm dropping my, uh, my, album, my mixtape on March 11th. That's my birthday. So the full-time student coming out, hosted by Trapaholics mixtape. I'm dropping that. Bunch of more videos. Bunch of more content going to Miami, about to shoot more videos. Got a video with Dave from the grave, about to drop. No, I actually got to shoot that first one. I go to Miami shooting a video with Dave from the grave, because we got a song. Okay, Dave yeah. from the grave, I heard of him. Yeah, I made a beat for him. Uh, and then, and that's all I'm gonna give y'all, that's all I'm gonna tell you right now, because then when school start back, I'm gonna be on a whole nother way. That's a whole nother run when school start back. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what it is, man. Now, if people want to tap in with you, bro, where can they, you know, follow your IG and all that? All right, you can follow me on all platforms at KSANJ. That's K-A-S-A-U-N-J. Bow. YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm on all platforms. Apple Music, too. Any, any, you want, any platform you listen to music on, KSANJ. I'm on everything. All right, that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we live at AT, man. We about to sign out this Yeah, K-Team, man. K-Team. Merch on the way, too. K-Team merch. Book bags, shirts, uh, tablets, everything. Go back to school. Everybody go back to school, man. Get this get this refund money. Get this Pell Grant money, man. Free money out here. Go get that, man. Go get that. Get, do one year. Do you one year. You pay that money back, though, don't you? Pell Grant, you don't got to pay back. Oh, okay. Pell Grant, that's your money. Oh, okay. Okay. Shit, that's what it is. And we signing out. This All right, week. we out.